What's up guys and girls and welcome back to my new series where we take a quick look back at all the things that happened this week in the automotive industry. This is video 4, so if you like this one there is a playlist with similar videos in the description. Now this week was actually really busy, like a whole bunch of crap happened, so we should probably get right into it. First up, Cadillac's first fully electric car could cost over $300,000. Now, according to the Wall Street Journal, the base car will start somewhere around $300,000 and adding options to the base model could get the price close to $400,000. Now, you can buy three Model S Teslas for that money, so why is this Cadillac this expensive? Well, there are a few reasons. Number one, there will only be 500 units produced by GM and the second reason is the fact that each one of those 500 units will be completely hand built. GM's president Mark Roos said that each Celestic will be handled by an amazing team of craftspeople on our historic Technical Center campus and today's investment announcement emphasizes our commitment to delivering a world-class Cadillac with nothing but the best in craftsmanship, design, engineering and technology. Now this combined with all the fancy tech inside all adds up to that huge price tag but only time will tell whether it's really worth such a large number. Next up, the guys at Ford smoked some good stuff and the results speak for themselves. This is their 1471 kilowatt or 2000 horsepower super van. On the 23rd of June, Ford showed off their crazy Ford Performance Build Transit van, officially known as the Ford Pro Electric Super Van. The Supervan 4 is the fourth Ford utility to be retrofitted with a race car caliber powertrain. After the first Supervan stuck a transit body shell on a GT40 chassis back in 1971, the Supervan 4 harnesses the capabilities of a mid mounted 50 kWh liquid cooled battery located where the previous Supervan's internal combustion engines were to power four electric motors that promise to deliver 1,973 horses and a 0-62 to time of under 2 seconds via an all-wheel drive system. One day, when I have kids and stuff and my wife says I need to get a practical, eco-friendly car, I think this is the type of car I would buy. Next up, BMW is in the news again and this is the fourth week in a row. Now, this time it's for something truly special. BMW M Division CEO confirmed a new version of the 3 liter CSL via Instagram. Now the 3 liter CSL will be based on the M4 CSL and is expected to be ultra limited. Now the price tag for this ultra limited BMW $800,000, so small change. The car will make around 600 horsepower and it will come with a rear wheel drive only drivetrain that will be paired with a 6 speed manual transmission. Now I am a huge BMW fanboy, so I can't wait for more info on this car, so as soon as I know more, I'll make a full video on the new 3.0 CSL. Now from one German manufacturer to another, Mercedes will axe off their A and B class by 2025. So it looks like Mercedes-Benz is looking to reduce the current range of vehicles in order to move their focus more to their larger and more expensive models. This is actually quite crap for me. I love the A45 AMG, I mean nothing is quite as cool as a small hatch that can take on some of the big dogs and win. Personally I think Mercedes is making a big mistake, but that's my take on it, let me know what you think down below. Anyways, Mercedes did do something good in the past week as well, their EQXX broke a record. The Vision EQXX smashed the previous single charge record. Now how far did it go on a single charge? Well it's actually quite impressive what Mercedes managed to do. They did 1202 kilometers or 746 miles on a single charge. If they continue like this, range anxiety will be a thing of the past. Next up is a car I want to make a full video on. So if you would like to see more on this car, let me know down below. Veritech's gorgeous new Apricale a 800 kilowatt hydrogen powered hypercar. This hydrogen fuel cell hypercar will weigh less than a ton and is claimed to have an acceleration time from 0 to 62 in less than 2.5 seconds. Now like I said I would like to make a full video on this car so if you want to see more about it let me know down below. Moving on from a hypercar to a Hyundai, the new Ioniq 6 has been revealed. It's a fully electric sedan that will ride on the same eGMP platform as the Ioniq 5, 
Kia EV6 and Genesis GV60. It looks kind of cool and futuristic, but if I'm honest, this really doesn't excite me. So let's move on to something that did. This dude in his 911 tried playing Need for Speed in real life, trying to outrun a police helicopter in his 911 Porsche. This 911 driver managed to clock 285 kilometers per hour in Spain, but unfortunately, 285 wasn't fast enough to lose the police helicopter, if only the real world was as easy as video games. Anyways, that's everything for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I've got more videos just like this one, so if you did like it, get to my channel. I've got many more stuff just like this. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.